I was in the kitchen. I came upstairs. I felt warm. I called my son for some cold water. My arm started feeling funny. It felt like there was something tied around it or a rubber band or something. I don't know. My speech was messed up. Go get Dorian. Go get, because I'm still hearing myself. I'm like, something's not right. Dorian came in and said, oh no, Ma, you're having a stroke. You have to go to the hospital. Althea um, came to the hospital in time and she was having a relatively large size stroke. If the large blood vessel remained blocked, uh, the stroke could have progressed to her having loss of language as well as permanent weakness on the right side of her body. They kept saying, you know, luckily you got here when you did because they was able to give me the clot buster. With the TPA, the clot busting medication, the medication did its job to open the blood vessel, remove the blood clot, so that the blood flow could be restored to that area that was already receiving some damage. You can see here that that's the area of damage. Althea would have been at risk to have a stroke this big, if not for the medication that she received that minimized the size of the stroke. They was looking at me and I was talking and talking, next thing I went for a little bit, and I was like, oh wow. I just started talking regular. It was like amazing. So many people say it's like a traffic jam. You know, you have a blood vessel that's blocked with a traffic jam. This TPA just creates a lane so that blood can pass through again. She's had a good clinical result and why we're really wanting to make sure we reduce her risk for a future stroke. So once Althea made it through the emergency department, she came up to the stroke unit, which is a, a place where patients come to have very close monitoring with nursing and neurology, uh, where she could really start the diagnostic testing of why the stroke happened to her on this particular day. I could feel like the pressure. It's really critical in those first hours and days that we get patients on the right medications to prevent further strokes from happening, recurrent strokes. Uh, so she uh, underwent a series of expedited tests when she was on our floor. Push up. Excellent. Uh, the second branch of what we work on immediately upon arrival is getting recovery from the symptoms of strokes so that people can return to their productive lives. I'm so glad I made it here to get the clock buster because I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't be talking like this. I wouldn't be walking. I can go to the bathroom by myself. I can take a shower by myself. I don't need help. I don't have to worry about standing up and falling over and stuff like that. Seeing a patient who goes from having severe weakness on one side of their body and having devastating symptoms where they can't function for themselves to being essentially independent again like Althea was walking and talking just fine. It's a really rewarding career and researchers here are really figuring out how to tackle at the highest level the motor recovery after stroke. We're using innovative video games to help people to engage in their therapies. We're looking at different uh, ways that we can help the brain recircuit itself to move around the disabilities that people have and we're trying to find new drugs and new therapies that can extend the window of who is eligible for stroke treatments. Uh, and I think taking this comprehensive approach to research um, here at Johns Hopkins will really benefit future stroke patients tremendously. I was lucky. Everybody around me worked fast, I got here fast, and I got the clock buster fast. It is really critical for people to know that if you have signs of weakness, numbness, change in how you're speaking, change in how you're seeing, you should call 911 and come to the hospital. Let the evaluation happen and if there's nothing going wrong, please, you can be sent home that same day. But if it is a stroke, there could be therapies that could reverse the symptoms. I feel blessed. Know your body. Listen to your body. You can prevent a lot. And you can be saved, like me. I was saved.